Hi guys, welcome to another Apple Champ tutorial. In today's short tutorial, I'm going to be covering Adrobo 5D. I'm going to start off by just discussing exactly what it is, and then I'm going to show you some speed tests, and then lastly, I'm going to just talk about who will actually need this. So, what exactly is Adrobo? Well, Adrobo is essentially an external hard drive, but it's much more than that. Basically, Adrobo allows you to combine multiple hard drives together to give you one extremely large volume for your computer to work on. And it also gives you redundancy. And redundancy is basically just uh, protection against a hard drive failure. So in my case, as you can see in the unboxing video that I have here for you, I have a Drobo 5D, which allows me to hold up to five hard drives in one system. And the Drobo 5D comes with dual redundancy backup so you can either have backup for one hard drive failure or two hard drive failures uh, what that means is if one of the hard drives fails all of my information that is stored on the drobo is still safe uh, and, and it allows me to replace that hard drive with a new hard drive and then continue working but a drobo is more than just a traditional raid device um, it allows you to work with a combination of different drives different sizes you don't have to, if, if, a, if a hard drive fails, you don't have to shut down the system and put in a new hard drive and wait for it to rebuild. It just all works in the background while you're working. So you can have your computer on, accessing files, and let's say you have four drives in the Drobo and you need more space, you can just immediately pop in a new drive and you have instant access to new, new space. So that's just a, a real brief explanation of what a Drobo does. And I was lucky enough to win one uh, from the Drobo website. It was just a wonderful gift. I was never able to afford one before. Uh, I've been wanting to get my hands on one for a while. So I filmed this little unboxing video for you. I don't particularly enjoy unboxing videos myself, but it's just something for you to watch while I'm explaining. Um, and you can see it comes with all the cables you need. And probably my most exciting thing about this Drobo 5D is that it's Thunderbolt enabled. Uh, I have the 27-inch iMac as my primary workstation, which comes with Thunderbolt. And so I was really itching to get my hands on this to test out the speed. Um, because if it works the way it should, it should give the same speed as an internal hard drive with the benefits of an external. So I get all the additional storage, the instant backup of all my information, but the same speed as I would ha have from my internal drive. And so what I'm going to do in this just brief video is, uh, as you can see in the, in the video, um, just show you the Drobo, show you how it works, and then do some speed tests to compare the speed of the Drobo to the speed of my internal drive. Okay, so I have my Drobo set up. But before I run through all the speed tests and um, testing out all the technical stuff, I just wanted to open the Drobo website for you to see a little bit more um, about it and for you to get a little bit more info. Before I continue with this tutorial, I just want to say I'm not paid by Drobo to do this. I'm not earning any money from them for this. They don't even know I'm doing this. But uh, I just really love the product. I was excited to get my hands on it, and so far it's living up to my expectations. I've only had it a couple months, so um, I might give an update down the line. But for now, it's just it's really wonderful, and I really want to share this with as many of you as I can. So if you just go to drobo.com, you'll um, get to their company page and you can see all of the different products that they they offer i have the drobo 5d as i mentioned before and um, here's just there's just a bunch of information for you to, to read and to um, learn more about it if you're if you're curious about getting one they're not the cheapest options out there for external drives but i i do believe that they give the best combination of uh, security safety of your information speed and also just ease of use. They're really easy to use, really convenient. They look nice on your desktop. Um, so I just think it's a wonderful product. And if you, after watching my video, if you're interested, go to drobo.com and uh, read up more for yourself. So here's some images for you just so you can see. This is what the device would look like. Uh, this is what it looks like on your table. And I'll just click on a few more images. You can see the, the, the external um, view. You have a few lights on there which uh, look pretty. 
always um, for geeks like me. But basically you have your power button showing whether it's on or off. You have these blue lights at the bottom, which uh, is a really nice convenient way of seeing how much space you have left in your Drobo. So from left to right, it's empty through to full. So once these lights start getting really full, um, it's just a, a simple indication for you and you can open your Drobo and either replace an existing drive if you've filled up all your slots or if you have a couple empty slots, you can add a new drive and it'll immediately give you more space. And then your, your green lights on the side here are just indicator lights for the individual drives you have inside the Drobo. So it will show green for the slots that have hard drives in. It will be off for the slots that don't have drives in. And if there are any issues with any of the drives, it'll give you warning lights like an orange light or a red light. So it's a very simple product. Um, as I said, uh, it's just a large external drive basically. So if I had to open my Drobo dashboard on my computer, that's not my Drobo dashboard, um, over here, you will see the interface. And basically, this Drobo dashboard will look for any connected Drobos. And there you see my Drobo 5D. And there you can see the status of my Drobo 5D. So I have three one terabyte drives and two empty slots. So I have space for more capacity down the line. You can see the status of how full my Drobo is, uh, which is the reason why I don't have extra drives. I don't need the space right now. Um, but my Drobo is where I store all of my Final Cut projects, all of my photos, my entire iTunes library, everything's on there. And um, I have plenty of space to work with. And also I can listen to music. Um, I've been editing videos with Final Cut Pro and I haven't been experiencing any slowdown, which is really wonderful for an external drive. Uh, USB is typically not quick enough to edit um, it's at least HD video, let alone edit and um, listening to music at the same time and browsing the web. Um, but so far the Thunderbolt Drobo has kept up with everything I needed it to do. I know I'm by no means a professional video editor. Um, I'm just an individual who uses it the best that I can. Um, but so far it's been wonderful. So we have the interface. I'm not going to get into technical stuff. It's really straightforward. Um, got the capacity so you can see what's used and how much free space I have. Um, the tools, the settings, uh, how long do you want it to um, stay on for before it spins down the drives to save energy. Things like that. But there's the Drobo and it, it lives on my computer, exists as an as external drive. So what I want to do now is I want to get to the meat of this video and do some uh, real life tests to compare how the speed of the external Thunderbolt Drobo compares to my internal hard drive of the iMac. So what I've done is I have gone to the Mac App Store and I've downloaded a free utility. It's quite popular called Disk Speed Test. Um, and I'm just going to compare some speed tests from the Drobo to, to my iMac, as I've said before. Um, but these tests take quite a while, so I'm going to let them run and I'll just speed it up in the video for you to see. And then once we have the results to compare, I'll continue um, discussing it. So I'm just going to start these speed tests now. So I'm going to go and select the target drive and I'm going to start off with my IMAX drive. So I'll go to my iMac and just specify a place on my iMac. And I'll just choose a one gig file for now. And I'll go start speed test. And what this is doing is it's basically writing a temporary file to that hard drive and then reading it back. And it's just doing it back and forward and doing a stress test on that drive to see what it can cope with. And you can see in the interface that um, it basically tells you what format of video and what file sizes of video that this hard drive is compatible with, what it will keep up with. I don't have any SSD drives, so I won't get typically very high scores. My Drobo also doesn't have any SSD drives. They're um, a little bit expensive, but I would love to get one to test. And if I do get one in future, I will for sure put up a test for you. Um, but right now, this is just testing all of my drives are just standard hard drives. So who needs a Drobo? 
Um, that's the important question. And I think many of you who are watching this, even if you clicked on this video out of curiosity, will be asking yourself that question. Do, what's the point? Why get a system like this? What's the difference? Well, um, to answer that question, we need to consider what it does and we need to compare it to other alternatives out there. And um, I don't want to get into it too detailed again because I've mentioned this before. But what the Drobo gives is large amount of data uh, as one volume. It's secure for up to two drive failures. And it's extremely quick to access. So the, the value in Drobo is that it gives you all three of those things combined. Now, there are many services out there that give you one or two of those um, abilities, but not all three at a cheaper cost. And so you need to ask yourself, do you need all three or do you only need one or two of them? So in terms of, I'll take the first example, backups. The Drobo essentially backs itself up. And how it does that is when you have four or five drives in the Drobo, what the Drobo does is it divides the information across the drives and it reserves a small amount of space on each drive for backup. So that if one of those drives fail, the remaining drives still have the information from that drive and they can rebuild it. Um, so that's, that's how, in a very quick description, that's how the backup function works. Now, if all you need is backups, if you're just an individual who works with documents and browsing the web and personal iTunes library with your music, there are definitely cheaper options out there uh, for backups alone. I would recommend just getting a single external drive and using Time Machine for that. I have a tutorial on Time Machine um, and that will basically clone your existing hard drive inside your computer uh, for a Mac and um, your information will be safe. So if it's just backups, the Drobo is far more than you would need. In terms of capacity, the Drobo is one of the few systems out there that gives you quite as much capacity as it offers. Uh, I think any other systems will be in around about the same price range. So capacity wise, uh, the Drobo is a really good option. Although you do get some online options now. Uh, there's a new service that was just released called Bitcasa. Um, fantastic service, absolutely incredible. And I recommend it to anyone. Um, it essentially gives you unlimited online data, online storage. There's no limit to how much you can use. Uh, the downside is that you're limited to your bandwidth, to your connection. So if you only have a 10 meg internet line, then that's the quickest speed you'll get from uh, that storage. So you, it wouldn't be feasible for me to have all my Final Cut Pro uh, files on, on in Bitcasa and to try and edit those files directly over my internet connection. It just wouldn't work. Um, so there are cheaper um, options out there for the amount of storage, um, but not at the same speed that you get with a Drobo directly connected with Thunderbolt. And then that would be the last uh, point would be the speed. So the Drobo, as I mentioned, offers Thunderbolt. And uh, do you need such speed? Do you find that you're working with things that are slow? Um, if you just use iTunes, browsing, documents, your internal drive will be more than sufficient for that. And so will any external USB drive. Um, the Drobo and solutions like it uh, are the only ones that offer this amount of speed uh, with multiple drives connected through high capacity Thunderbolt. And uh, those are only needed by people who are transferring data consistently, editing lots of video, editing lots of audio, um, or in very minor cases, people who have tremendously huge iTunes libraries and perhaps are you know, watching HD video and delivering content to their multimedia system in the house, um, perhaps then it would be a good option for you. But that's the key point of the Drobo, is it offers all three. It offers speed, uh, capacity, and backup all in one. And so if you think you need all three, then I'd say the Drobo is for you. Well, the speed tests are finally over and the results are in. And 
not too surprisingly to me, um, the Drobo has actually come out quicker than my internal hard drive on my iMac. And um, this is no negative comment on either side. The IMAX hard drive is perfectly fine. Uh, it's a decent drive for what it was built to do, uh, for what the IMAX was built to do. Um, but the Drobo is just a tremendous piece of hardware that, that gives an additional boost in performance without any um, necessarily better drives inside. Uh, in fact, in my Drobo, I have Western Digital Red drives, um, which are known to not have the, the fastest spin time. Um, they're just reliable storage drives, which is why I chose them. But the, the key point is that the speed of the Drobo um, from the Thunderbolt being connected and also multiple drives being used is significantly quicker. Um, if my iMac speeds are at the top, my Drobo speeds are at the bottom using the same file size tests. And um, here we see the, the speed results in the right column. Um, and in both tests, the Drobo is approximately 50% quicker. Um, now, this, this isn't a comprehensive test by any means. Um, this was just 1 gig files and 5 gig files. So it will primarily relate to um, people who work with large file types, such as video editors, which is why I did this. Um, but as you can see, it, 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 it's one thing for an external drive to equal the speed of an uh, internal drive, but for the external to be quicker is, is something else. And so I am very pleased with my Drobo. Uh, I'm really grateful to have it and to be working with it. Um, and I hope many of you will benefit from this video. I hope it's been informative. And um, I'd appreciate any comments that you have, any feedback that you have. Uh, extra knowledge, please feel free to share it. Um, yeah, and so I hope this, this helps you all.